New on the night beat for innocent victims and their families living through a crime is hard enough and additional burdens like hospital bills, crime scene cleanup and funeral expenses only make that situation worse. Those are all burdens that the statewide victims compensation program can help ease in many cases. The night team's Devin Clark introduces us to a grieving mother who received help and tells us how others can too. It's part of our crime and justice series. He was a month away from his 18th birthday and he was six months away from graduation. But Highlands High School senior Paul Rey de Leon never made it. On December 19, 2009, his mother, Norma Rodriguez, says a quick trip back home from dropping off an ex-girlfriend took a deadly turn when the car he was riding in with his brother and sister got to the intersection of Fair and New Braunfels. Uh, uh, tan or white, you know, Frontier pulled up next to them on the right. My son thought they were going to ask him for direction. Instead, they picked up a double shotgun barrel and aimed it toward the car. De Leon was fatally struck in the head. I tried to donate his organs because I wanted him to live on and give someone the gift of life they needed, but he probably was already far gone. Then Rodriguez got a $30,000 hospital bill and $12,000 in funeral expenses. A little relief came after learning about the statewide Crime Victims Compensation Fund. I got reimbursed for the funeral costs and for the portion that my insurance didn't pay. Victims advocate Jennifer Brown explains. It covers victims across the board, domestic violence, sexual assault, stalking. The money can cover counseling, loss of wages, the cost of cleaning up a crime scene and more. They will reimburse up to $2,500 for crime scene cleanup. Almost a decade later, Rodriguez is still hoping police find her son's killer. Crime Stoppers offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. In the meantime, Rodriguez hopes others affected by crime know that there is help. Whether they survive or not, you know, um, it's expensive. Much of the funding for the Victims Compensation Fund comes from offenders, fines and fees. We have a link where you can access all of the help on KSAT.com. In the newsroom, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.